11968 Harbor Cove. You sit down on a hill. So I don't know if you can see that slope of the driveway. See the roof line. There's no side of the house for me to walk around on. The thing I say is I notice along those, it's either just overspray from it being painted or they bleached it. Oh no. Anyway, let's go in, let's take a big gander at this little puppy. You have the train unit right outside here. It's a 2000. The dryer down, I do believe. Come in, clean the floors. You have a bath, half bath right here. Basically, a complete little half bath area. Single band. All right, come in. You know, standing in the inside the foyer area. You got tile goes to the landing. All right. Little storage closet under the stairs. Air handler. Two thousand. Looks pretty clean. I mean, it does look like it's got some dust built around it, some dust bunnies. Um, So into the kitchen, get your little pantry, little corner cut pantry too. Okay. Uh, this is like it's, it's basically the cheap stuff. Let me pull it this way, show it to you. Yeah, you can see how thin it is. So it's just over, usually over another countertop. So that looks like it's thick, but it's not. You can tell by the edge of the sink on the undermount. There's a deep sink, sinkerator. Okay. Um, it looks like a headphone plumb, possibly. Appliances. Uh, yeah, probably functional, but you can see there's a seam here on that little cut. Okay, so nothing special there. Cabinets, you got extra storage. It's pretty deep. See that sway of the ceiling there? I don't know if you can see it right there. It's almost like that's the apex, and then it sags a little bit along there. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it in person. All right, fridge, freezer section, fridge section, okay. Scrolling along, right in the garage, yes, looks like Recon panel box looks even new as well. So, it's 125 amp. Hot water tank. 2003. Attic stairs. You got good storage in here. You got the pull down screen too, so if you wanted to, you could. Open up the garage, slide this down, and just sit out here on nice days or whatever. Your dryer van, that was it, all right. So your laundry's out here. Maybe problematic, may not. All right. Strong. Got a view of the living room and dining room area. Wayne's Cove running around. You got a little patio area out there overlooking the lake. It's a nice little touch. Kind of calm, tranquil. Come into what would be the master suite. Again, overlooking the pond area. Just about here, the patio area. You've got a semi fan and outdoor light. It's screened in. So, keeps buggers like that. Oh, hell, yeah, he's on the inside. Yeah. Oh, there's a hole somewhere. And I found it. It's up there. Just saw the lizard. Doors on the tracks are flexible. You've got a little bit of a hump here in the floor. So, or a dip right here, I don't know what it is. Maybe short heavy bed, you know, double vanity. Big, huge tub. Walk-in closet. Good size. Low ceiling though. You'd be bumping your head on that thing for sure. Big, big, big tub, okay. Scarface though. Stuff. 
step down shower. I mean, that's a good step down too. Anyway, shower can. Maybe just find that bar seen its better days. That's for sure. Low seat toilet. Man, that is low. You're doing popping squats just to use that thing. You got a medicine cabinet. Close this up. Cut off these lights. Oh. All right, let's make our way outside real quick. Take a gander at that. All right, as you come out on the deck, I see a lizard. Uh, it's got some. It's definitely got some wear on this deck. I mean, give it a little walk out. Next year, yeah, this deck seen better days. Steps held me up. So hold 220 pounds. Oh man, look at the fish. Oh man. Gotta come back and fish this. That's your view. There's your neighbor's deck. Yours is kind of situated back, but you've got your neighbors kind of looking at you there. But what you do have is you do have that porch up top, which we're going to check out next. And I mean, that's some good. This lake also spills over. It's called Lake Narcissism. Yeah, what a name. Mirrors on the walls and steps landing, and you have another landing, and then you rise up the steps. This is overlooking the downstairs. Going up, you have some free space right here. The rails are nice and high, looks like they added these caps to them. This room here, great for like a Office slash multi purpose room. That hmm. must be kind of sheathing there. Room's got a little bit of valleys in it, and you're overlooking common space. This is not bad. That light fixture does not work. I'm flipping switches. So you have full bath, right off the additional guest suite, linen closet, the guest bedroom. Carpet's not bad, but you can tell it's got some age on it. And how great the mirrors front. All right. Let's step out on the roof. Let's pray I don't fall through. And it feels pretty solid. Yeah. You got some weathering on the paint for sure. But that, you could do something maybe similar to what they did over there. Ooh, there's a spot that's soft right here. A little soft spot right there. Not too bad though. And we're looking over your deck here. Ready for a water balloon flight. All right, patching's done around the chimney. That cricket could have been a little higher, I would imagine. I found another little, that's not really a soft spot, it's just a divot. The skylight, you can see there, that's raised up quite a bit. Bit of a concern. Yeah, I was a, some potentially rotten one. That's pretty hard. I'm gonna come take a look at it for sure. Yeah, she's kind of cute. 